And so I, I turn to Twix and Steve just to see who's gonna like start it. Um, and they have st taken a step back. And in that moment, I knew that all of that stuff that we would talk about at the pub about the need for revolution and for real change and for the patriarchy being dismantled, it was all just words and they didn't actually want that. They just wanted to be liked and accepted and they wanted everything to stay the same and they weren't gonna do it. Um, So I turn back um, and before I can think about anything, Boris Johnson's right there. So I say, excuse me, Boris Johnson. And he turns to me and sticks his hand out and I shake his hand mostly just to stop him from moving on. Um, and he says, hi, how are you? And I say, can I ask you a few questions? And he says, yeah. Um, and there's people around and no one's stopping me and there's cameras. and. And I say, um, do you realize what you and your party have done to this country from your politics of austerity to all the things that you genuinely, and he's staring at me and my um, stomach starts to do this clenching thing. It's stopping me from talking properly. And my lip is like tensing, like I'm gonna cry and um, and my voice is gone, so he steps forward and he says to me, you all right? Just really kind. And, um, and I don't say anything. I just run, I run away, and I think that it's gonna be all over the news. Um, this little girl tried to take on the Prime Minister, but she couldn't do it because she was too much of a fucking snowflake. Um, but I check my phone and there's nothing just a text from Twix apologising but I know where that comes from now that shaking and that panic and that fear that I'm not going to be listened to and that I'm going to be laughed at and Natalie's been saying this for a while but I just needed to come here and tell you whether you hear me or not because it was you.